Welcome back to EETV. Okay, we are going to create the locator part. As you see by this three-dimensional drawing, this is what it looks like. But we are going to do it in an orthographic projection, or otherwise known as a multi-view projection, of front, top, and right side, the standard three views. As you can tell also, this is in inches, so make sure you set this up in Imperial, and then you can tell the length and so on. So first thing I'm going to do is I like to turn on my grid. I like to have units. It's going to be no more than two decimal points, and then inches, good, and then limits. I am going to have the corner, so negative two comma negative two as the lower left and then the upper right would be five we'll say ten over that's more than plenty of room and a height of six uh, I do zoom extents and there we go we have our and this is going to be my starting point approximately. Um, it wants you to set up layers. Remember layers. Uh, the first note I'm going to tell you is do not mess with layer zero. Do not mess with layer zero. Do not mess with layer zero. I said it three times. I want you guys to remember do not mess with layer zero. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is layer properties. You click and it's going to want you to create a new layer. That's this first little section here where you see a whole bunch of little layers and a uh, yellow asterisk. First layer I'm going to create, as you can see by here, is construction. So, construction, and I'm going to keep it white and continuous. I am going to push um, a new layer, and then this one is going to be object and then blue and continuous. Now, the colors, there's a ton of colors up here, but the only ones I want you to use are on this row right here. So this is blue. And when you click it, it'll say blue, you'll see blue, and you push OK. You go to the upper left, click that X, it gets rid of it, but these layers are there. Um, now, um, one thing I did not do, which I'll go back to here, um, it says to go to construction line and make that the current layer. So you see this green check mark next to layer zero, as you see it up here. You want to set as current, which is this last one of these four. You click it, you'll see the check mark move to there. You see this change to construction. You know you've done it right. So we're making that now. First thing you do is construction lines. Now you remember back in drafting, construction lines were thin and white, light, thin and light, and object lines were thick and dark. Then every other line was thin and dark. Construction lines are meant for guidance and then eventually you're going to erase or in the case of AutoCAD, you're going to turn them off. Um, Construction lines are something you draw, so it's going to be in this panel right here, the draw panel. You see lines, polylines, so on, but down here, you come down here, and construction lines are infinite in length. They have no end, so if you think of a line in mathematics, the symbol is an, a line with an arrowhead on both sides, and that's what this is. You see it says creates a line of indefinite length. So. It says to select that, select construction line. Then you come down here and it says in the lower left corner, click, pick a, a point, and then you're going to create, you're going to pick a location above the last point, which I'm just moving up slightly, and you'll see it snap to 90 degrees. If it does not, make sure this polar tracking is selected. So it's going to snap up. You're going to make a vertical line. And then you see on the next one, this is moved to the right of the point. And it says create a horizontal line. Then you turn off. 
Okay. Now is using the offset command. So you are going to select offset. You're going to enter 5.0, 5 inches. Hit enter. Select the vertical line, which the vertical line is this line. Remember, like the horizon, this is a horizontal line. The vertical line goes up and down. And you're going to select. Then enter. So that's the end of that. Then um, in the command area, da da da. Oh, yes, that's another way of doing it. So you can select there, select offset again. We're going to enter 2.5, which is the height of the object. Select the horizontal line, go up. And so if you look at this square right now, that is this. This is 5 inches by 2.5. And, and if you look here, 2.5 right here, length, and 5 inches long for the front view of this object right there. Okay. So we've got our first view drawing. Now we need a little space. And so now it says to do it again on your own. And so repeat offset. This time we're going to do one, enter. And that's just going to be the space between the front and the top view and the front and the right side view. All right, cancel. Then we're going to right button click, repeat offset, and we're going to choose three, enter. Now the beauty of this is that this offset here, this height, will be exactly as this width. So you can do this once and do this with the same distance. Now, I am just going to shade this for your understanding. Uh, solid, current, we'll make it red. So right here, right here, and right here is where you're going to draw your three views. You're going to draw the front view, the top view, and the right side view. Now, again, this distance is the same as this distance. Why is that? Well, if you look, if, if you were to look at the front here, it would be three inches wide. But also, if you were to look down at the top, it would be three inches tall. So those are both the exact same features. Okay. Back to right here. We have now created this, and I am going to undo the shading. Okay, now you're going to set select the object layer as current. So all you do is come up here, go to object, and set that. So that's how you make. So the next line should be blue. 